Good day, denizens of the racetrack. My name is Unsilent, and we're on the air with more Flat Out. Now, if you joined us last time for Flat Out, you would have seen we did pretty well. We managed to clear out that entire top row of races in gold. Considering how we've been doing some of the other races before this, and some of the other in bronze and gold, or bronze and silver, rather, and how we just struggled to get through those ones, we're doing pretty good this time out. And as promised, we're going to start with the most uh, recent race that we've unlocked. That would be Finchley Timbered Ash. This is a tricky looking track, but we will see how we do. Three, two, one, go! Oh, I'm just right in the middle of a wreck. Flat out without fail, will just wreck everyone in turn one. Oh, that hurt. So I assume most of what you just saw was a highlight reel of me crashing and exploding repeatedly. There wasn't too much else to that race besides that. All right, let's do Fairgrass Grounds, the Fairgrass Challenge. I always think I do well at this track, or this series of tracks, but let's be honest, do I actually do well at any of them? And it's go, 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 go for the Fairgrounds Challenge Free. Oh, we've been spun. Well, thanks for racing us clean. I know I say that the first corner and flat out is nothing more than, well, it's just a complete gong show. It's chaos, it's death, it's destruction. In this case, we got caught up in the middle of it. Oh, he's... She... Has spun me off to Narnia. Yep, Karmic Retribution has come home to roost. Let's do Hayville Havoc. We did okay at the first Hayville race. Maybe we can turn things around here. And the lights are out. Away we go! Everybody just sort of makes it up as they go along and we'll quietly sneak our way into fourth, now third. Everybody's into the trees and the bales. We're in the tree. We got shoved into that tree. Oh, and we're riding off with the 23. Oh, he spun a little bit. Now we are right back on. Oh, the 80 gets shoved out of the way. We're just going to dance by him into fourth. not the way to design turn one to be taken but at the same time we didn't sp we didn't spin out we didn't have to reset and we're still in fourth problem is we have lost touch with uh, third so I think that's GG and oh, we just ran out of time I think it's time that we do this all right, let's try Gravel Mound, Mound Mayhem. Lights out, and away we go. We will just duck up the inside, take everyone but the leader through turn one, and we might get him here in turn two. Nope. We're right up his chuff, though. going to try and fit two cars into one piece of real estate, but I came out ahead. Oh, we've got him again through this downhill section. This is a good part of the track for us and a bad part for him. Unfortunately, the section that immediately follows isn't good for us. Oh, he made a mistake. We're going to duck under for the lead. Well, it only took until the 
fourth race of this episode, but here we go across the line to transfer. And I keep saying new tires, new tires, new tires, and finally, it's paid off. You could use some new tires too, but maybe you could do with some new IC. Don't bloody hit me when I parked across the line! Alright, we haven't done Red Pine Zero Course. I was kind of wondering what a Red Pine Zero would be. And we're just going to back off just a little bit because we know they're all going to crash into each other, so we're just going to let them do that and go up the inside. Lovely little battle for the lead here. Oh, he's hit some tires and gone a little wide. We're just going to try and throw a slide job on him and our sucks. So, oh, what the hell did I hit? We're gonna do that crossover just like we did it last time. We're gonna throw a little more forceful block on the 14 that time though. I'm getting away from the microphone because I'm leaning into the turn with all my might to try and get this thing around the... Oh, well, fuck me. And we've lost our position because this thing decided I had gone too far out of track and needed to reset. And now I've gotten too greedy and cost myself the entire race. It went so well in the last episode, what has gone wrong this time? I mean, really, this is aggravating. Alright, this column I've got a good feeling about. We got gold on the haystacker, we got gold on Mound Mayhem, and now, uh... Gravel Super Smash. That should end well, right? This isn't going to end well, right? hit the wrong one. If I hit the guy on the inside, they would have taken each other out and we would have been in great shape. Oh, I know this turn. This was from the last gravel mound race. I'm going to utilize this familiar part of the track to catch up a little bit. Oh! Well, that was just jank physics. Like I get that's the appeal of flat out is ridiculous physics and well, look at that, isn't that insane, indestructible cars, but at the same time it's like, it's hard to compete if the physics is just going to throw up at the random curveball at you every now and then. Well, that went well. Well, if... The last couple of races have taught me anything, especially this last one has taught me anything. It's that, yes, I need suspension parts. Shocks and... okay. A regular set of shocks and springs. Let's try Hayville Havoc again, because that's the one we did the best of. Best of a bad lot, though. Washed out a little bit there, but managed to not get completely screwed over. Managed to hold on to second. Is the suspension helping any? I don't know. Certainly didn't hurt over that jump, so I'm going to consider that a victory. Now, last time we got too aggressive trying to make a pass for the lead, so we got to be careful. We got to pick our spot and not put ourselves in a vulnerable position. Pass him on the straight, that's not a vulnerable position. Oh, but if we don't make turn one, that'll be, yeah, we didn't make turn one. And we give it right back. We've gotten enough of a lead that I don't have to do anything stupid, so. Now look at the mini map, they've just crossed start finish line in one lap. We've accumulated like a quarter of a lap lead over the rest of the field. Now take a look at the mini-map again. We've actually not really increased our lead that much. 
Not that we're fighting, it's just when it cleans up, it's a lot harder for us to pull away. Duck down the inside. No, nope, that's going to turn back to the outside for this next turn. We don't want to get caught out on the outside. But he's going to make a mistake. He's going to make a mistake. He's going to hit the water tower. We're going to sneak through to the lead. And here we go. A little suspension work and across the line in the lead for the win. I waited this whole time to see when third place was going to come across the line. 30 seconds behind me for the win. That is a huge margin. So we've gotten a whole two this episode. That's fantastic. I, I guess less than four episodes to get through gold is out of the question now. Well, let's just try and get through a third one and we'll try and transfer a third one and uh, leaving it out to four between the two episodes. That'll be nice. Fairgrass challenge. Oh, we're on the outside for the first turn. That is not the place I want to be. We're gonna do the cut under. We're gonna do the cut under somewhat successfully. Oh my goodness. Oh, we've been mounted and... Oh my... Get off me! Holy mother of crap, that was an ugly turn. Well, I don't know what's changed, but this car is hooked up. We have made up the gap pretty quick on the cars in front. There's the transfer spot right in front of us. Oh, he's hit the tires and he's gifted us third place. I took it way too cautiously through there, because now I've got him. Oh, he's trying to human centipede me. Oh, he's got so much more pull on me than down the streets. Oh, crap. Well, I cut that a little fine, and uh, that's GG. And he's bottled it, and we'll just go on by the fifth. How many times have I said... Flat out is a game about mistake minimization. Speaking of mistake minimization, take this turn really wide. Respect that construction. Oh, he's gone off into the tires. That's P4. Oh, the whole field of leaders it's just right in front of me. Oh, now. Those two have bottled it. We are going to P2. And we are just going to hold on to P2. I'll take P2. Actually, can we get P1? Yes, we got P1! By a hundredth of a second, are you kidding me? Here's the replay out of the final turn. We aren't going to... Oh, you're not going to get a very good angle of that. That's unfortunate. You can see how close that was and how much I had to make up at the very end there. Well, that at least gets us our third transfer of this episode. It's not been a particularly good one, I will be the first to admit. But we have a starting point for the next race. We've got the Red Pine Run, which we will endeavor to pass on our first go next time. And we are going to try and pass the last eight episodes, or is it? Uh, no, I can't count the last seven maps in the next two episodes. I've given up on my dream, the dream of doing this in three episodes I have given up on, I am sorry. But don't worry, we will be back with two more weeks of flat out fun. This totally isn't a strained smile on my face pretending that I haven't been wanting to pull my hair out getting my ass handed to me by the AI over and over and over again after passing the first five races and six goes in total. Anyway, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're new, do the sharing stuff. We've got the Facebook and Twitter pages down below in the description. Check out the other videos hey, in the uh, credits card for this video. It'll uh, take you back to the last episode of Flat Out if you haven't seen that. That one actually went well. 
But until next time, I'm Unsilent. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you with more Flat Out.